यू एस मार्केट इज परफॉर्मेंस एज वेल एज प्राइस सेंसिटिव मार्केट राइट सो द कस्टमर इज हाईली मेच्योर वॉट एवर अमाउंट ऑफ मनी दे आर पेइंग दे वॉन्ट द रिटर्न ओके सो फॉर एस द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इज बिगर बिकॉज वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू इक्वेट आवर सेल्स विथ लोअर क्वालिटी फ्रॉम एनी अदर कंट्री इंडियन टायर इंडस्ट्री और इंडियंस हैव क्वालिटी माइंड सेट एंड वेन यू कैन परफॉर्म इन इंडिया डेफिनेटली इट इज इट इज हाई हाईली चैलेंजिंग आई मीन इफ यू सी दिस्ट्री दायर मेजर्स लाइक द नंबर वन नंबर टू नंबर थ्री वे नॉट एज सक्सेसफुल एज इंडियन कंपनीज आर so when we can do in you in india we can in our home ground definitely we can do anywhere else also they don't want the off the shelf product which is good for india so they, they'll not accept it good for us because uh, there are regulations for rolling resistance in some of the states in us so you have to be really competitive in terms of uh, rolling resistance then only you can sell in that uh, those states so how we have done is actually uh, we have done lot of uh, ground work a uh, lot of research work what us customers expect and what type of tires uh, they are using now so those things have gone into our uh, r&d inputs and accordingly we we have set the targets or our benchmark performances uh, to those needs and we are trying to meet those uh, while entering into us markets we are uh, entering into whole uh, truck and bus um, segment uh, not only truck and bus there are some segments like tankers like uh, very very light applications but very long duration like the truck will go at a stretch say 1000 miles 1200 miles Uh, those kind of segments are not there anywhere else other than australia so your product really has to has to be you know consistent with those requirements because as you go longer the temperature development is higher and temperature air these are two enemies for the tire two wheeler uh, you see the biggest challenge is uh, this environmental norms whereby we are constrained by you know the less and less uh, fuel consumption uh, less and less uh, rolling resistance in our tires fortunately uh, as the automobile industry is moving towards that tire industry is moving towards this the raw material industry is also not behind far behind so they are also actually helping and developing uh, the materials which are you know low resist rolling resistance friendly without compromising on the abrasion i mean which is the tire life because these two are two extremes so if you try to you know pull up once the other one uh, gets behind so we are developing the tires for uh, dunlop brand now and whole dunlop range is having you know the uh, new age compounds higher performance uh, oriented and more close to the customers needs dunlop we have just uh, you know uh taken the uh, brand uh, for only indian geography uh dunlop as such uh, they they don't have I, i don't think they have any r&d right now so we are not taking any r&d support and all you see the pull has to be uh, from the automobile industry and uh, they are doing that constantly and uh, consistently and uh, the tire industry is also uh the last 5 to 6 years we have started talking about and now we have the materials which are you know uh, sustainable for the longer term although most of the materials are in uh, i would say prototypes they are not commercialized because of the scale but there are huge potential and good probabilities that we'll be able to you know uh develop the raw materials like uh, rubber uh, like uh, fillers which are renewable and sustainable what we thought of actually to utilize the 
hungerness which is there in global market other than India, uh, like U.S. market. U.S. market consumes approximately 20-22 million tires a year, whereas they can make only, uh, if I am not wrong, close to 10 million only. Yeah. So they import almost 50 percent or more from outside. So and with China, they have blocked. So they they have a huge hunger which actually we can uh, complement right now. Uh, similarly, the Europe market will follow the similar uh, trend because they are also tightening the norms for tires and uh, the other countries will fall uh, short of meeting those expectations in the short run. In longer run, probably everybody will catch up. So till that time, if we are able to establish our uh, quality, so we'll be there for very long time uh, coming to indian market india market has very high potential but the maturity time to to establish your product is little high because it is directly related with the consumer's mind and their acceptance of uh, any newcomer mm -hmm. so traditionally it is it is very slow so that's why we thought while we you know cater and uh, support those export market we will continue to do our uh, research and development and the market establishment in home uh, land which takes time so these two things we can do parallelly and then when market is good for us we can enter the domestic market also.